All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Green Millstone. And salutations to the Yaakim pushing his word in truth and, to Siri, and with sincerity and with charity. Um, what we're going to go into today on this topic is going to be on um, Israel. It's the Lord's battle axe and weapons of war. And first thing we're going to start off with is that Jeremiah 51 and 20. Alright, this is Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. God, man. Because like I, cause in, the day, in the day of the Lord, man, the, the Lord's elect be, uh, side by side with him. Are going to are going to tread down this wicked kingdom, you know, because everything is off balance. Everything is an abomination up to up until right now, man. You know, and I got the elect, which are the which are the so called which are the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're gonna be the well, there's gonna be one hundred forty four thousand of them, the elect that are gonna tread down this place, you know. Uh, and with right there with that scripture, we shall shall tread down nations. You know, can you give me that Ezekiel twenty five and fourteen? Can you say Ezekiel? Twenty five and fourteen. Alright, this is Ezekiel twenty five and fourteen. And I will lay my benches upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my bench is safe, the Lord. How? Good. Because, you know, I got, we're going to try down Edom, who are the so-called white men, for all the iniquity they, they have done, man. Their, their iniquity has reached upon the heavens, man. They're, they are going to go unpunished. Um, can, you, can you give me that scripture real quick that says that, um, um, Damn. Is a righteous thing to recompense them that troubled you? Because, you know, e Edom is not going to go unpunished, man. Edom has done so much iniquity in this world, man. To lay hand to lay hands upon Israel and, they, and think they can get away with it. They have stolen our heritage. They have, man, they have stolen it. They beat it out of us. They they call us, um, they, they hate us. They they've been oppressing our people since since man for for years, man. And they think they think that's all right, and they think if they're gonna go and punish. I got it. Um, this Second Thessalonians, uh, one and six, seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Come, man. And is there if there if there is there unrighteous unrighteous with the Lord, Lord forbid, man, because we're man, it it is gonna be a righteous thing to 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 stomp on your Edomites, man. Can you give me that Daniel seven and eighteen. Because you know we're coming to that we're gonna we're coming to that point in time where, you know. All we're going to see out here is there's going to be chaos and destruction and death. Because, you know, scriptures say that, um, I call it, um, uh, talking about Yahweh Shai, I think not that I come to send peace, I come to send but a sword, you know. And also, they, they also say that, um, uh, it's lucky, I'm going to briefly paraphrase it, but it's talking about, um, uh, I'm going to, damn, it's lucky, but it's talking about, um, uh, the Lord coming back with fire, but what for if already be kindled? Because when the Lord comes back, man, there's already going to be chaos here, man. But the Lord's coming back to end it all, you know, the big bang. All right, this is Daniel uh, 7 and, eight, and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take, take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. The saints, the saints are gonna take the kingdom, man. They're not gonna debate. They're not gonna argue. They're not gonna um, what's that word? Negotiate. Okay. They're gonna take it, man, cause they they're taking what is rightfully theirs, man. Come on, ain't none of that gonna happen, man. Just, Esau 
and these other nations are gonna have to get put into slavery, man, for what they have done to the children of Israel. Can you give me that um Psalms eighty two and six? Alright, this is um Psalms eighty two and six. I have said ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the most high, but ye shall die like men. And fall like one of the princes. So like you can read it over there. Uh, Psalms 82 verse 6. I have said ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the most high. But ye shall die like men. And fall like one of the princes. Come man. Because we're at the state man. Where you know we did this to ourselves man. We are we put ourselves in this low state. The Lord said, if "We if we follow His law, statutes, and commandments, He'll set up uh, He'll set up He'll set us up above all nations. You know, we are gods, but we shall we. What does it say, Salaki? Like but we shall die like men. But we shall die like men, man. You know, this we did this to ourselves, man. But us coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shimei Shai, believing in Him, and stop being a, stop being a part of this wicked world, and coming back to the Most High." Man, that's that's just a, that's a, just a few steps closer on getting to the kingdom. Hey, man, and that's also beautiful that y'all bashing me on shy bars into this truth. Hey, damn, we should be praying, thanking the Lord for bringing us to this truth, for waking us up, man. Come, man, man. The scripture says you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Not but, a lot of people have this, like have the knowledge or could do what we do. You know that. There is some people that they try. I, I believe there there is some people that try, but they can't they can't like do it because the Lord is not dealing with them. God, man, but going with that, going back to that Jeremiah fifty one and twenty, we um, I call it, we are the Lord's battle like some weapons of war. In Psalms eighty two and six, it says, it says we are God's, but we shall die like men. Man, I call it. The scripture, man, the Lord is a the Lord is a man of war, man. If the Lord is a man of war, and we are His children. What makes what makes us? Are we not an image of 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 the Lord, man? Were we not created by Him? And if we are, if, if the Lord is our Father, we have His His um how you call it um, like, yeah, uh, the best word that's coming to me is characteristics. You know, we have the same the the we we are made in His image. You know, Yahweh shy on down because we are we are the children of Israel, man, through through the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, that's something. No, but you know that was a brief, a brief, um, um, quick, quick lesson. But you know, with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Double honors to our our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And citations to the Yaki and pushing this word in truth and sincerity and maturity. And with that, shalom.